everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I'm going to be a rising junior at Northwestern University. I am moving into an apartment this year, so I thought I would come up with some DIY decor. Um, I have two items for you. One is a macrame wall hanging and the other one is a pairing of two wall paintings. And so these are all just items that I found off of Pinterest and thought I would try to recreate. They're like anthropology, urban outfitters inspired without the price tag. Um, but I literally spent like less than $20 and a couple of hours and I thought that they turned out really great. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I just figured out that I'm going to need 30 pieces of rope that are 19 and a half feet long. Um, so I already have one piece of rope that's measured out and then I will just take the other, I don't know, however many pieces and measure them out. Okay, so once you have all of your rope, you're going to take each individual piece. Let's see if I can show you here. Um, right, so match the ends together and then find the top loop. And what you're gonna do is and then pull this out from the hole underneath. And you're gonna tighten it. And this will help your string stay put. So do this for the rest of your strings. Okay, so once you finish hanging all 30 strands, it should look like this. It's like pretty long, but it'll end up being, I don't know, maybe that big. The first knot that we're going to make is called a square knot, and it's in groupings of four. So hold the middle two strings together and take the left string, cross it over the middle, the right over the left, and then under it into the little hole and pull the string out. After you've done that, tighten the side strings. And so yeah, just push up and then tighten it. And that's the first half of your square knot. So the second half, you take the right, cross it over the middle, the left over the right, and then under and through the hole. So basically the same process, just on the other side. And then once you've tightened this, you have your first full square knot. And we're just going to do this for the rest of the 30 strings. After you have your first row of square knots, we're going to make a second row. So in order to do that, leave the first two strands alone and then start with the next two. So what you're basically doing is taking half of the strings from the first square knot and half of the strings from the second square knot and completing a square knot that kind of creates this overlapping effect and will really tie it together. You're going to want to do this throughout the entire row and then make a third row of square knots that's using the same exact strings as the first row of square knots that we did. So after you're done with three rows of square knots, this is what it should look like. This next knot, I don't know what it's called. I should, but I don't but you're going to take the first string and this will be your traveling string. So make sure that every time you're traveling with this that you're pulling it to the right. So what this is gonna do is create like a line of knots right under all these square knots and it'll look really nice and pretty. But what you're gonna do is take every string after the first string and pull it up over your traveling string and then you're gonna make a loop and then pull the string through the loop and do this twice with each string.
So the line didn't turn out as linear as I had hoped, but that's okay. So what I did next was section off the strings of three square knots from the top, separate them into two, and this is going to be our grouping. Um, and so what you're going to do is basically make the same line as the knot from above that made the line knot, um, but this time instead of pulling the string to your right, you're going to pull it at an angle down. And so this will make like a nice kind of triangle, half triangle shape. Um, it's not looking too triangular, but you know what, I'm trying my best. So, so what you're going to want to do is basically make two rows of those lines that are angled down on each side. So after you're done with both sides, you're going to keep going the same direction with the second line. Um, and basically what you're going to try to do is make like a little diamond shape. Um, as you can tell from my past two groupings, I have obviously not been successful, but that's okay because they're each unique. Um, and so this isn't really that hard. You're just going to have to basically change the angle of your traveling rope. After you are done with all that, just finish it off by tying a square knot to secure the attempted diamond. <laughs> and this knot is basically just like the ones that we did up above. All my groups look different. And it's fine because they're all unique. But this next part I found to be the hardest because we're going to attempt to make a line again. Um, except all the strings are different. So that's really fun. But I think if I have one word of advice, and if you guys would take advice from someone who has failed, um, <laughs> would just be to make sure to not only keep pulling the rope to the right, but also make sure all of your other strings stay in the same position that they are when they're usually hanging. So I ended up making a second line just to reinforce the first line. Um, I think it really makes it more <laughs> linear. But this next knot we're going to do is a spiral knot and it's basically just a repeated square knot. So start out with just a square knot and then what you're going to want to do is like after you have created this first square knot, just keep folding the strings into square knots, but only half of a square knot. So this one, when I go left over right, I'm just going to keep going left over right instead of completing the second half of the square knot. Okay, so I'm completing the second half of the square knot, but you don't, you don't want to do that. You want to just do left over right the whole time. So now I'm doing left over right. I hope I get this soon. Okay, yeah, and then it's just left over right the whole time, and basically by only doing the knot in one direction, it'll create a spiral. finish filming the rest of the tutorial but I only used the square knot and the line knot and then frayed the rope at the end. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out even though when you look closely it's like pretty dysfunctional but I think for a $15 project it turned out great so I hope you guys enjoyed this. tutorial is basically me just freehanding paintings that I found off of Pinterest. Um, I'm not an artist and I'm using watercolors because I couldn't find my acrylics, 
but the watercolor paint is all dried up and I couldn't find my paint brushes. So it's a pretty ratchet rendition, um, but I think that it turned out okay. I'm pretty happy with how it is. And that red solo cup in the corner is for the paint, not for fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, I found it really fun to make all of this and I literally spent less than $20 on both of these projects combined so drop any feedback down below and I'll see you guys in my next video